Caddis Maximus here, this time with just a real quick video about cheap sheet metal uh, wire strippers. The only reason I'm doing this video is I already did a wire a stripper review and comparison, and I had sh shown this pair of uh, Garber Bender uh, GS30s. Uh, but since then, I actually found a set of uh, American made Stanleys, and these are still sold today from anywhere from about $5 to $10 online. $10 is really seems kind of expensive, <laughs> or some sheet metal scissors, and of course some VACO WS uh, 150s. Oh, and these Stanleys are 84-213s, and those are on Amazon and everywhere else. What's kind of interesting is there is a <laughs> wide variety of uh, build quality, even when it comes to really cheap uh, sheet metal wire strippers. We have a couple uh, wires here. So we showed these Garber benders and the reason that these are particularly cheap and let's see if I can't get a focus. If we look carefully you can see where the metal is smooth and then it has like a kind of a worn or sandblasted surface right on that inside edge of the jaw. Yeah you guys can pick that up. It's because the jaws, the sharpening of the jaws was occurred right during the stamping process. As you can see these were made in Taiwan and so they're not particularly high quality. What is handy is they do have a pretty wide range from 10 gauge to 24 gauge. And it does have a bit larger of a wheel, but these are pretty darn cheap. And really, uh, these were something the Harbor Freight was making, they cost a dollar. Now what's kind of interesting is there's uh, some design differences. Now we have these VACOs, and what I'm gonna do is, uh, in just a second here, these are from the 1970s, so yeah, in a second I'm going to overlay a couple of pictures of the packaging I'd found, and they're kind of hilarious. I'll have a little bit of comments about that. This is interesting. It, the package says WSC-150, yet on the tool it says WS-150. Look at that font. A VACO problem-solving tool. And then down at the bottom, simply dial wire size. At the top here, they have sharp cutting edges. I'm sure glad they aren't dull. And the claim for all industrial applications might be just a bit steep for sheet metal wire strippers on their, on their packaging. Uh, what I liked about the VACOs is they actually use, the steel is a quite a bit thicker than it is on the Stanleys or the Garber Benders. But where the Stanley and the Garber Bender do have better rivets, the rivets on the VACOs were just hollow. They were kind of surprising, but then uh, for that, they give you a spring-loaded, and then they have a more curved design, which was their new design. Uh, another couple aspects I liked about it is they actually have a little bit longer of a straight section at the front, so they work better as wire cutters when you just want to nip off just a little piece of wire. These do work much better in that situation, although they're not perfect because they're sheet metal and they do want to separate pretty easily. And I like the uh, more lower-profile jaws on these. And then after a review of that packaging, um, we have these Stanleys, which are still available now. And these, I would say, are the high-quality ones. This design has been used uh, quite a bit. And there's like Miller's and a few other tool brands over the years that have remade ones that are like this. And the difference with the Stanleys... Oh, I forgot to point out on the Vacos before I forget here. The Vacos do indeed have a ground jaw. The backside of the sheet metal isn't. Uh, but the jaw is indeed ground, so they are nicer than the Garber Benders. But then Stanley goes one step further and see the jaws and the back plates are ground. They do this little offset on the sheet metal uh, so that they can get access to that surface and make it nice and sharp. And then they use like a heavy duty rivet. I was really uh, surprised and uh, glad to see that. So these Stanleys are actually the nicer set of these. And then one thing that's a little funky is is doing the sizing. Um, they just use a slider and the screw head acts as the stop, but there isn't any kind of markings, which would have been kind of nice because uh, you have to spend a little bit of time fidgeting around with uh, figuring out exactly what's the right size, you know, sliding this thing back and forth, tightening it back up with the slot head screwdriver. But the advantage to the sliding system is it allows an infinite scale. So uh, versus these, which use these little rotating cams, um, and so like the little cam you would rotate and there's 12 gauge if you wanted you know 14 gauge you'd rotate the cam and then a little flat kind of aligns with the handle and that's the same way that these garber benders work however 
on these Stanleys, you kind of have to fidget around and just find just the right size. You know, after a lot of cycles of screwing down and loosening that screw, it's going to put little dents and it'll tend to want to sit back in those little indentations. These are cheap wire strippers, but, you know, I just, I still wanted to point that out. I'm sure a thin washer would help that out. Uh, but the advantage is, is you do have infinite. So if the one of the preset fr prefix sizes on these uh, just isn't doing it for you. It's either stripping some strands on fine stranded wire, but the next size, lar next size larger really isn't stripping it properly. One of these you can actually, you know, set perfectly to whatever you're stripping, which is kind of nice. And then the jaws are really sharp on these. They really, even at the tip, uh, these will cut the wire. Uh, because they're so sharp, even better than the Vaco. And I think part of the issue with the Vaco isn't just the grinding, but it's the weaker rivet with the Stanley. It has a really nice heavy-duty rivet. So anyway, that was just the end of a just a quick uh, review. I guess I'll strip a couple pieces of wire. And we'll set this both. These are 18-gauge. Uh, the Vaco's wheel's a little loose, but all you have to do is hammer the back of it, and then it will uh, come back to life. So on an 18 gauge, actually those work pretty well because of the kind of hex shape. Uh, actually, they're pretty reliable. And let's check out the, uh, generally speaking, the reason that these are nice and handy to have in your toolkit is because they're incredibly small. Um, oh, let's cut this off. And uh, they can really be put in the tight spaces. And uh, part of that ability to, actually strip wire just fine uh, that tight spaces is because the cutting jaws are right there right at the very end of it and so even nicer professional you know there's lots of nice wire strippers but very few of them will actually I uh, allow you to reach into a real tight space and just get the end of a wire and just strip it uh, I often like inside power tools and those kind of things I just don't have very much wire to work with uh, when I'm trying to strip it and, you know, crimp or solder on an extension. So these little uh, wire strippers are actually great in that situation. Pretty much can't get any closer uh, than what these will do. And just uh, picked up a couple of uh, the Vacos and the Stanley, so decided to do a quick video about them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.